Hi. So what I'm we're making here, we're stretching out is our pinta romana. It's uh, I import this flower from Italy. Uh, it's a De Marco flower, 80% hydration. Uh, three types of flour: wheat, soy, and rice. I ferment it over two to three days, and very little yeast. And what we get out of that is after that, then we then we uh, shape it. And we proof it for five to six hours. And that, now we're in this process of stretching it so we can get a nice little oval shape. And as pinza romana is called, it's called pinzare because you're pressing down to create these little air bubbles that I have here. So that's what I have here. It's a bed of rice, uh, rice flour, all imported from Rome, Italy. And uh, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna use these three fingers. I'm gonna just press down. Very delicate because it's like, uh, the dough is like jello. So we make it every week to keep it fresh. Now I'll just press it down here. You get these whole air bubbles once we put it in the oven. I'm the only one in San Diego that actually is doing it at, in a restaurant. There's people buy them wholesale and they have them at restaurants. But we here in uh, Pablo Rosta, we make it all fresh uh, for the week and uh, you know, made, essentially meets our order, right? So I'll just kind of put it down in this bed of rice flour. And I'll just cover it like this. Otherwise, it'll stick to my fingers. And I, you know, I'm even wearing gloves right now, so and I'll just go press down to create these little bubbles. I take the excess This is what we want. We want these little bubbles right here, like that. Because when they grow, they're going to grow in these little pockets. And the end result is this. Something like that.